a mountain of scraps. I had this bucket of scraps in my cupboard and I've been looking at it and moving it around and today is the day I am going to do something about it. So the first thing I did was to dump out all the scraps from the bucket. What a pile. Most of them are strippy things. There's some pieces, but I've got to manage this group of fabric and make something useful out of it. So the first thing I do is to separate things that seem useful. I just look through it. So quite often I get a little pile of light colored scraps. And secondly, I get a lot of strips, things that are long and narrow. So once I decide, once I get so far, I have to um, decide what I'm going to make. So in this bucket of scraps, there are lots and lots of strips. There's not so much light colored pieces of fabric. A lot of them are red and purple and they are dark, dark muted colors. Not my favorite thing to work with. So I've got to be a little creative about what I'm going to do. So I've got to make a plan. Quite a while ago, I made these templates using pieces of acrylic. I just cut, cut out the shapes so that when they went together, they would form a, um, a nice square. And I just drew a pic, I just drew the lines on a piece of paper, um, copied them onto the acrylic and cut it with my little bandsaw and filed it down so it wasn't sharp. And I think I probably made 10, 15 quilts using this template. Well, I'm going to use it again, only because I have a lot of strips and a lot of thin pieces, I'm going to modify, modify it a little bit. So what I did was I took the circle part, put it on a piece of paper, drew the outline, drew the outline. Then I took the template off and I drew some lines like that because I can use those strips and I can um, join them together and make a circle out of all of these strips. And to make it a little easier for me then, I took a piece of foam core, traced the, traced one of the uh, sections, and I have a little template that I can cut, um, cut pieces. And after I've cut the pieces, I could sew them together and they will make a semicircle. Then I take my original and I've drawn, put little dots on it where I want to match up the lines. And I can just use my rotary cutter then and trim around and get the pattern piece that I want. It works. It's going to use up the pieces. And then when I sew the two pieces together, then when the two pieces get sewn together, they will form a square. Um, I, I'm really a fan of making my own templates because it helps me to use up the things that I've got. If you 
want to buy templates from the store, they're handy to buy a lot of rulers. I don't tend to have a lot of rulers, but I like to use things that I that I make that are going to use up the product that I've got here in my house. So I made one sample before I am going to make a whole quilt. And here is my first sample. When I have joined up all of the pieces, I have four sections to sew together and it makes a good circle. I can join that or join that up and my finished block in this case I my finished block is going to be 15 in inches. Now to get the center here uh where all those um wedge pieces come together in the middle it's really bulky and it doesn't look very nice so i'm going to put a circle on top of the center and just applique that on i can applique it with my sewing machine using a decorative stitch and i'll do all of those at the end i think i might make the center yellow but i'm not sure yet I just made a circle pattern using a round object that I have in my house, so I got the right size. So it's it's a bit of experimentation, and you can see even on this block, I've used the strips, sewn some strips together, so that I have a piece to go in that corner. And all of the other ones, I think there's a seam in almost all of the corner blocks. There's a seam here. Uh, I think there's a seam right here. So all of the corner blocks are also part of the package of seaming. And that um, it works. It's going to use up all those scraps and any bits and pieces that I have. Um, and then I'll have to think about what I'm going to do for the backing. I haven't decided on that yet, but I'm just going to continue making some of these circles. Ah, that's just so I've continued making them. I really have been enjoying making these circles and using up the strips. They're very colorful. I've found a few more pieces of fabric that I can use, and I am making a log cabin type um, backing for these. I started quilting the first few just to test my skills in circles. It's fun. They look kind of like records up on my wall, but I'll show you another video soon and I will explain how I've done the um, quilting process and how I will join them together. Again, Quilt As You Go is my favorite. I love being able to use the things I have. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope you have subscribed already. And I certainly will answer any questions if you put them in the comments. I have so much fun making these videos and making these quilts. I hope you enjoyed watching.